Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the mean and variance of sample mean. That is, the sample mean can be described as the estimator for the true mean. It is given that we have a random variable xi which has mean, that is the true mean, is equal to mu and the variance, that is variance of xi is equal to sigma square. Now we want to derive the mean of the sample mean that is expectation of x bar and also the variance of x bar where x bar is equal to the sample mean of the set of observations that is 1 by n into the summation i equal to 1 to n xi where xi has a true mean equal to mu and variance equal to sigma square and also xi is independent of xj when i is not equal to j. So, given these conditions, we want to derive the mean and variance of the sample mean. Clearly, sample mean is also a random variable based on the given observations. That is, it basically changes with the when the observations change. So, we can it can be treated as a random variable and thus we can derive its mean and variance. So, the mean is expectation of x bar that is mean of the sample mean is or expectation of sample mean is expectation of the uh, this definition that is 1 by n into i equal to 1 to n xi the summation of i equal to 1 to xi which is equal to 1 by n into expectation of the summation i equal to 1 to n to n xi and since the expectation is a linear operator we have 1 by n into summation i equal to 1 to n expectation of xi and by definition expectation of xi is mu so this should be equal to 1 by n into n times mu which is equal to mu therefore expectation of x bar is equal to mu which basically proves that bias of x bar that is the bias of the sample mean is equal to zero that is sample mean is an unbiased estimator this is because bias is defined as expectation of x bar minus the true value and here expectation of x bar is mu therefore this is equal to zero therefore x bar that is the sample mean is a unbiased estimator now we want to calculate the variance of x bar that is the sample mean which is by definition equal to expectation of x bar square minus expectation of x bar whole square. So, we just derive the expectation of x bar. Now, we only need to find the second moment of x bar that is expectation of x bar squared which is equal to expectation of 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n x i multiplied by 1 by n into expectation summation i equal to 1 j equal to excuse me j equal to 1 to n x j by rearranging the terms we have 1 by n square and this expectation is a linear operator we have summation i equal to 1 to n and summation j equal to 1 to n expectation of xi into xj and for the values of i and j that is for values of j equal to i we have 1 by n square into summation i equal to 1 to n that is we only have one set of summation for values of j equal to i and this is equal to x of expectation of xi square plus we have summation i equal to 1 to n and j equal to 1 to n for j not equal to i expectation of xi into expectation of xj since xi since xi and xj are independent of each other when i is not equal to j expectation of xi into xj becomes the product of expectations so this double summation basically becomes the sum of these two summations that is the first one is the first term is a single summation where j is equal to i and that's why we have only one summation for the uh, expectation of xi into xj that is for the correlation and for j not equal to i we have the double summation and the term is the product of expectations because xi and xj are independent of each other by definition variance of xi 
is equal to expectation of xi square minus mu square. Therefore, expectation of xi square is equal to mu square plus, and this is sigma square, plus sigma square. Therefore, expectation of xi square, that is second moment of xi, is equal to mu square plus sigma square. Therefore, the second moment of x bar, I mean the second moment of x bar, that is expectation of x bar square, is equal to 1 by n square into the first term becomes summation i equal to 1 to n and this is equal to mu square plus sigma square. And the second term, that is the double summation, becomes i equal to 1 to n, j equal to 1 to n, but j not equal to i, we have mu square. That is, expectation of xi is mu, expectation of xj is mu, therefore this is mu square. This is equal to 1 by n square into, clearly there are n terms here, so this is n times mu square, plus sigma square. And here, there are n square minus n terms, since we have excluded the terms j equal to i. So, this is n square minus n multiplied by mu square. So, by cancelling n into mu square with minus n into mu square, we have 1 by n square into n times sigma square plus n square into mu square. Therefore, expectation of x bar square, that is second moment of the sample mean, is equal to sigma square by n plus mu square. And from the definition of where the de from the definition of variance of x bar, the def difference is equal to the difference between the second moment, that is expectation of x bar square, and the square of the first moment, that is square of the mean or the expectation. So this is equal to sigma square by n plus plus mu square minus mu square. Therefore, this is equal to sigma square by n. Therefore, variance of the sample mean, that is variance of x bar, is equal to sigma square by n. And we already derived that expectation of x bar is equal to mu. Thus, the mean of sample mean is equal to, the mean or expectation of sample mean is equal to mu, that is a true mean. And the variance of the sample mean is equal to sigma square by n. These results are valid only when the xi and xj are independent of each other. The true mean of xi is equal to mu and the variance is sigma square. Thanks for watching.